Welcome everybody, in this tutorial you will learn how you can track objects in DaVinci Resolve 15. So right now I got a clip here of myself, just moving around here and there. But let's also add a text here and let's make it longer. Okay, that's enough. And now we got a text here. And let's say that we want to put my text uh, near me. So we will go to here and me. And let's make it red. Oh, let's make it blue. What do you say? And now, oh, the blue is so <laughs> ugly. Uh, right now, as we have it, look what is happening. Nothing. So we need to go to the colors. When you are in the colors, all you have to do is go to window and now you have options. You can track when you click on a blue ball here, you can track a ball, a circle, or you can create your own tracking of something, let's say an animal or something like that. Now this is what, what everything else you want to track, let's say that hold this part. And yep. So let's use circle now. When you click on a circle, when you unclick the circle, you will stop the motion tracking. So I want to track myself. Now when I have it set it up, I will go to the tracker and all I have to do is change the stabilizer to window and now zoom rotate and now I will just track forward from now on it will track my whole face and that's sort of what I want okay and also track it backwards let's do that also And now this is really important what I'm going to do. Click these three dots here, right next to window, and just press copy track data. When we got it, when we got the copy, let's go back to the edit mode. And we need to change the text B from text to a normal clip. We need to create a video out of the text. Right click on that and new compound clip create and we got it now it's a clip let's go back to the coloring mode and when we are in the coloring mode right now you will see here your clips if you don't see clips here you need to just turn it on and turn it off right now we are pressed on a clip what we want to do now change the window to stabilizer and now again the three dots Classic stabilizer. Now you need to paste the track data. And we got the whole, whole, uh, like the data from my face. So it will move the same, same uh, way as my face. But we need to change the strong. It was on 100. It will be on the default 100. Change it to minus 100, all right? And also, you need to unclick the zoom. Let's say what will happen now. Nothing. Do you know why nothing happened? Because I didn't stabilize it. So stabilize. And now it will move. But what I don't like, it's that it's getting bigger, it's moving, it's rotating as me. So rotate will go away, zoom will go away, tilt will go away. And now you see it now. Okay, now you need to play around it. I hope this helps you how you can create it and how you can animate objects. It's a little bit tricky when you want to put uh, something next to it and track it by default. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much all and see ya.